Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. And since we are about to unlock our second unique unit, I think we should start preparing some kind of invasion. We could go to war with, let's say, Spain, because they already dislike us and they are pretty close. We could also go to war with England. They also dislike us and they are very close. And you know, I'd like to test both unique units in actual combat. So, yeah, also, I suppose that means we should start moving back with our longships. Oh, we found Japan, nice. Well then, what's up, Japan? Where is he exactly? And we found a city-state, recruit a great engineer. We will not be doing that just yet. And there's Japan. What about the other longship? It was somewhere around here, there it is. We'll just send it back. Yep, sounds good. We can check this area out. Can we just go west? I think we can go west instead. Yeah, we can go west. Because we have to wait a little bit longer anyway. Alright, we're about to finish our unique building. So that will give us more faith per turn. And now we have enough for a missionary. We can convert Lisbon and then probably some other city-state buy the tile, that was 76 gold, and grab the farm. Alright, looking good. So, what about our capital now? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we should probably build the meeting house, because that's plus two production, and plus three faith, but the production is always nice. Sounds good. Now, we will not be killing a unit with a spearman, so, I'll just finish military tactics all the way. Because we don't have a big choice. Next. What do you want? Oh, that's his hidden agenda, I guess. He likes people with a lot of culture. I guess that's not us. Alright. How much culture does he have? Let's have a look. 18 per turn. And we got 13. He actually has more, all right. Well then, what about science? Oh, he's actually ahead of us in science per turn. And he's even one tech ahead of us, all right. Well, that's why I need more campuses. We'll have to work on that a little bit later. Because, yeah, I'd like to invade someone, if at all possible. Shouldn't be hard, we just need a bigger army. Alright, let's see if we can find some more city-states on the way. Possibly, anything interesting in here? No, I guess not. It was worth checking. Next. I hope we can actually go west through there, because that might not be the case. It might be blocked. Oh. Well, looks like this is blocked. We'll have to go around this island. All right. Fine. Monument is almost done. We'll need more builders, so I suppose we'll have to recruit some. Yeah, I think this is actually blocked and we have to go around. That is disappointing. We might as well go east in this situation. Because that's going to be closer, yeah? We need 13 turns. Alright, that will do. It will take the other guy around 13 turns to get there anyway. So it's not a big deal. We found Hatosa, nice. Trigger inspiration for mercenaries. What is that exactly? Oh yeah, have 8 land combat units in your military. We could do that. And Hatosa is a very nice city-state. Because it gives you strategic resources that you revealed but do not have. That is easily one of the best city-state unique bonuses. Anyway, back to our capital. No, that's not our capital, that's Oslo. Shrine. Seeing how we finished the holy site. That makes sense. Is there a good location for an industrial zone? We need as many adjacent mines or quarries as possible, so I guess right here, for example. Maybe we should get the builder first. Let's get a builder first, because we seriously need more builders. And 
Right, I already see a location for an industrial zone, but we would have to buy two tiles right here because we'll have a mine on the left and a mine on the right. But it will have to wait. What else can we do? We could just grab a builder because again, we'll need builders, I suppose. All right, that works. Convert Lisbon and give me the envoy. Looking good. I've lived through some and we got recorded history. Life. Do we want to change any policies? I don't think so. No. We'll keep them. All right, let's keep moving. And the next civic is going to be defensive tactics because we don't really have a choice. And it's unlikely we'll get the boost for it. Unless someone declares war on us in the next seven turns or so. Right, another builder or something else. Let's grab a granary to help the city grow. And we can improve the iron. So this will give us two Eureka boosts for the wheel and for iron working. What about the missionary? What can he do? Do we have any more city-state quests to convert cities? I think we had at least one more. Yes, Jerusalem. It's a little bit far away, but we could go there. That's the only one. I guess it's not that bad. We can go there. How long will it take? 15 turns. Alright, we'll go there, that's fine. I could also convert America or something like that. It will not be enough to actually convert their city, unless I convert Baltimore. Which might not be a bad idea. It's much closer and we will be able to buy more missionaries very soon. We need how much faith? We need 100 faith and we are getting 14.6 per turn right now. And we are about to get more from the meeting house. Yep, 17.8. Alright. So, workshop, because we cannot build a harbor just yet. We'll need more farms around our capital, otherwise it will take a while to grow. But I'd like to get that workshop, so we'll do that. As for the builder, he has two more builds. We'll improve both wheat tiles. That makes sense. Strategy requires and we got military tactics, tactics so that unlocks the Berserker, which is a pretty good unit, actually. A very good offensive unit. Now, what are we going to research next? We could get started on cartography, which is not a bad idea. We could also get construction, because I will build a water mill. In fact, that should most likely be the priority. Let's have a look. Hold on, did we finish researching the wheel? No, we need to research the wheel. Alright, I suppose we'll do that then. And another envoy. I would like to work on Hatusa actually, because that bonus is just so good. Alright, let's work on Hatusa a bit. And the builder farms. That gives us inspiration for feudalism. I think that one requires six farms. So that was our sixth. Alright, and the trade route. And we got a great person, a great scientist. Yeah, this one isn't actually that good. Especially since I don't really have a good holy site with a lot of adjacency bonuses. I'm actually going to pass. I let America have this one. And we can get the next one. Yep, sounds good. One more turn to finish the builder. What about the trade route? I would like to get some gold, so let's go to Zanzibar. That's 11 gold per turn. That's the best we can do. Off you go then. It's probably about time to build a commercial hub somewhere, but we got more important things to do at the moment, like prepare an invasion. And don't worry, we will. I just need these builders. Don't reinvent. The There's the wheel, so now we can build a water mill, and we definitely have to, especially in any city that has either rice or wheat. 
and most of our cities do. In fact, every single city we got has at least one witch tile. So building a water mill is a no-brainer in that situation. As for research, well, we could get iron working, we could have one unit that could use an upgrade. What else could we do? Construction, well, we could do a few turns. Let's just grab iron working. We already got a boss for that, and we got iron, so it makes sense. Another farm, and that was the last use. Can we go through here? Well, we can explore a little bit at least. Alright, next. Oh. Wait, what? Spain is declaring war. I mean, I don't mind because that will give us a boost to defensive tactics. In fact, this was a very convenient timing because we were around halfway done with defensive tactics. And now we have a target. Oh, Japan too? No, that's his agenda. I thought he's going to declare war too. But he's on the other side of the map. So there's defensive tactics boss. And there we go. That was the best possible timing. Do we want to change policies? Maybe. We could get a military policy in the wildcard slot. That might not be a bad idea. I mean, if we want to recruit more units, then we definitely should. So either for naval units or for melee and ranged. Let's go for naval units bonus. And we can get a few more long ships. Alright, sounds good to me. So how far are we? We are pretty close. We can try coastal raiding. Like so. Since we are right next to London. We'll see how that works. And where's the other guy? Right here. He's not that far away. Let's just move back. Alright, next civic. What is it going to be? Civil service. Yeah, probably. Or feudalism. In fact, we should go for feudalism. Because serfdom is really nice. Alright, feudalism. So... I'm just checking our progress. Looking good. We will obviously finish the workshop before we start recruiting anything. So, in one more turn. There's our own working, which means we can upgrade the warrior. That's... no, that's not zero gold. Yeah, that was 80 gold, not zero. And research. Construction? We'll get a water mill in five turns. Alright, construction. We need that one way or the other. Trade route. We need some kind of safe trade route. So I don't know. Wait, hold on. What happened to Zanzibar? Oh, influenced by Spain. That happened. Alright. Never mind. What should we do then? We could send it to Washington, which is two culture, one science and one faith, and it will also improve our relations a little bit. Alright, let's go for that one. And can we make any deals? We can get open borders. I would have to pay him quite a bit though. No, I'm not going to pay you that much for open borders, sorry. I kind of need my gold, you know? Alright, farm. Yes, you. And the workshop is almost done, so let's see what we can do here. Can we pillage the district? No. I think we can capture units that are on a coastal tile, builders. Let's have a look. Can pillage enemy coastal lands and capture civilians if adjacent using its coastal raiding ability. So we should be able to pillage coastal lands, like this one, or does it have to be an actual improvement? Oh, this is just a wonder under construction, that's not an actual thing, alright, a Colosseum under construction. Okay, that's fine. We'll try on the next turn, I'm quite curious how well this is going to work.
The creation of friendship with Germany, yep, sure. And you can go declare war on Spain and England. Alright, there's the builder. And we'll send him east, I think. Yep. So, let's have a look. We do not need a harbor here. But let's build a few more Viking longships. Especially since we have the policy active. And we could get started on our unique unit. Only six turns. That's not too bad. Yep, let's build a few. Alright. So, can we pillage something? Yes, we can! This is an entertainment complex. And that's a quarry. Let's pillage the quarry. That gives us 25 culture. That's not bad at all. I like that. That's going to be so strong in the early game on islands maps. You can pretty much cripple someone if he can't defend himself against this. I really like that. It will be heavily map dependent, but... Not much you can do about that with naval unique units. So, can they actually defend themselves? We'll find out. Let's send more. And we'll also send the swordsman. It's not like he has anything better to do. Okay, one more turn in construction and then we should switch to something else. Do we want a mine? I think I'd rather focus on farms, but we got five more uses. Let's get a mine that will speed things up. And let's pillage some more. Instead of attacking the chariot, we can pillage the entertainment complex. Why not? That will hurt their amenities. And we can pillage the trade route. Very nice. Well, they are going to regret declaring war. Plunder, that's 110 gold. That was pretty damn good, considering our current income. I already really like this. <laughs> now, let's test our berserkers next. Because these guys are pretty good, too. Alright, one more build. Let's send him east to help our other city. We still need one more city in this general area, but there's no rush. If someone settles that location, I will just declare war on that someone. So, yeah. Farm. And let's see, we need to make our capital grow a little bit faster than this. So, let's see. I guess we'll just lock the farm. We can get at least one more. But 18 turns, that's already better. The water mill is almost done. And we got construction. Oh yeah, I should have switched to something else, but that was only one water, turn. Gravel. Not the end of the world. And we got a great person. Great scientist. Triggers Eureka moment for one random technology from medieval or renaissance. I mean, that's not amazing. But I think we have a city-state quest to get a great scientist. I'm pretty sure we do. I remembered seeing it somewhere. Yes, in Vilnius. Okay, fine, let's pick up that guy. I'm not super impressed, but this will also give us a boost to education. So it was kind of worth it, I suppose. Where is the campus? Isn't this the campus? Hold on, where does he... Oh. We can trigger him inside the city. Right, we don't have to stand on the campus. Stirrups. Betwixt okay, the stirrup and the ground. I'll take it. Mercy. I would have preferred something else, but whatever. And next, we should probably go for gunpowder. You know, to reveal niter. We could also get education, which is not a terrible idea. I am a little bit behind in science, so education is actually a good idea there. We'll go for education. And production, let's see. Let's grab another berserker, although 12 turns is a little bit rough. Yeah, that's a little bit too rough for my taste. We'll grab a Schnein. And maybe we should faith buy something. We could save faith to faith by universities, because, you know, we do have Jesuit education, and that allows us 
to purchase buildings in the campus and theater square districts. And we don't have one campus, so that's at least one university we can buy for faith. Yep, we can save for that. But we do need a second campus somewhere. These are just not very good locations for a campus. Water mill because of that weed. Alright, well, let's keep moving east. We need at least one more farm near our capital, and we're about to finish another Viking longship. Let's do some more pillaging, shall we? We need more movement points for this. Alright, that is fine. Next. Are they even going to attack us? <laughs> because so far they are not doing it. Why did they even declare war? Well, I guess that's their problem, not mine. More pillaging. Yeah, we will pillage so many tiles near London. There we go. And we are almost there with the other guy. I would like to pillage more districts, but I'm not sure if they have any on coastal tiles. We'll pillage everything we possibly can. And let's grab another Viking longship. These things are pretty damn good. We can go harass Spain. Yep, let's go harass Spain. I see at least one coastal district right here. Let's go. And builder, grab a farm on the next turn. In democracy, and we got feudalism, counts. which feudalism, gives us serfdom. It's your count that votes. Do we want to switch anything? I guess we have to. So pick up serfdom. I don't think we'll be recruiting more builders right now. So maybe don't get serfdom. Yeah, I don't think we should be getting serfdom, actually. Let's go for something else. Like a bonus to medieval units, but we can't have that and maritime industries at the same time. What can we have? We could always grab colonization and get that city right now. Between all the military units that we are recruiting. Yeah, let's do that. I'd like to settle that city. We'll just recruit a settler after the berserker or after the shrine. Probably after the shrine. And civil service or something else. Mercenaries. That will give us an envoy and I think we had a city-state quest. Oh no, that was to get an inspiration boost for mercenaries, wasn't it? I think it was. We also have a quest to train a knight. We should definitely do that. Yeah, there it is. Which means we need eight land combat units, but we will get eight land combat units. Let's do 50% in mercenaries. It will take a little bit of time to get eight land combat units, but we'll get them. So we'll send two long ships to London and two long ships to Madrid. And pillage everything we possibly can. Grab that farm and just lock it right away. Yep. So 11 turns, that's much better. And we got 11 housing, which means we can get up to 10 housing without any growth penalties. We'll get a penalty at 10, but we need 10 population to get another district. That's basically what I want right now. 10 population for another district. And it's going to be a harbor district on the south side, almost definitely. All right, we are here. Let's pillage some more. Oh, that's a holy site. But not enough movement points anymore. All right. That's okay. We'll wait another turn. No problem. And, yep, keep moving with the swordsman. The berserker is almost done. We can improve the deer. Looking good. And let's go towards Spain. Try to be careful because that's just one Viking longship. They aren't immortal, you know. One more build. What do we need the most around here? I could grab that deer. We do have enough gold to buy that tile. And it would be useful, I guess. Let's buy the deer then. And now we can pillage some more. No, we can't pillage the holy site. Oh, it's already pillaged. Right. 
Never mind, we can punish the luxury. Like so, that's 25 faith. I quite like that, we can get yields by pillaging their tiles. And I think we pillaged everything we possibly can. We can just attack London now. Not sure just how much damage we'll do with one long shift, but hey, we'll find out and our swordsman will get there in not too distant future. So, the settler will be from Oslo, not from our capital. What should we do in our capital? We could grab a quick builder, but maybe not right now. Oh yeah, water mill, right, we need a water mill. And there's the berserker. So these guys get plus 7 combat strength when attacking and minus 7 when defending and they get 4 movement points when they start their turn in enemy territory. Pretty good unit for offense. Okay, well let's move towards Madrid and we'll pillage everything they have. What? My troops are just fine, but thanks for your concern. Oh hey, England is actually doing something. Good job, England. Well, I think we pillaged everything. Let's just back up a bit and wait for more units. Sure, let's do that. We got a few incoming. And now we can get started on that settler. While we have the policy, that was kind of the whole point. And production again. Let's have a look. Industrial zone. I still want that industrial zone. And this would be the best location for it because we'll have two mines. Yeah, this is definitely the best location. 132 gold is a little bit rough, but all right, we'll do it, it's fine. Let's get started. Yes, I want to build industrial zone there. Yeah, I don't see any other tile that would have two adjacent mines in the future. Well, I guess this one, but I'd rather keep the forest, I think. Is this a hill? It looks like a hill, but it's not actually. Okay, it's not a hill. Alright, done. It will take a while, but oh well. I'll probably boost it with a trade route. Speaking of trade routes, we should also think about a commercial hub. Maybe after the water mill, but I'd like to get at least one more berserker, if possible. That's the plan. But anyway, it's time to make a cut. I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.